Hey, what is going on folks? This is Hellbent, and today I'm going to release a small update to my bitmap maker script. Um, the update uh, concerns two very small things. The first one is I have removed the GDIP library from the script, so it's no longer contained within the script. So now what you'll have to do is actually take your own copy of the GDIP library and include it up at the top. If you're not sure how to do this, um, I'll point out two things. One, you can go to the AutoHotkey forums and look up the GDIP library, get a copy of that, and then put that in, a, in one of your folders or something. I suggest the library folder. The section, uh, second option is you can go to the older versions of this script and go to the very near the very bottom. I think it's around somewhere around line 2,300, somewhere around there. And you can just copy all of this stuff here all the way to the end and put that into a new script. Or you can take that stuff and actually comment this out and then go to the very bottom of the script and paste it in at the very bottom. So those are your options there. For if you're not familiar with including things, so what I have here is I have in my documents folder on my computer, there is a um, script called my altered GDIP library. So if I go to that, if I go to documents and then auto hotkey and then lib, in here I have this file here, my altered GDIP library. So if you were to put your GDIP library in this folder here, all you would need to do is just put it, put the name of that file in between the this less than and greater than. Another alternative to that is if you want to put it anywhere on in any folder or whatever, an alternative could be you just go to that file, right click it, go to its property so that way you can find its path, go to its security, and then just up at the top, copy this, and then instead of having it in between those two open and closing uh, greater than a lesson or whatever you call it you can just paste in the full path so that's another alternative way of doing it um, the other update the one that actually is like makes a difference with the script is I've made it so that way now when you add a note to an element so I'm gonna quickly add create a new bitmap I'll add in this let me just let me show you what the idea is. So if I have a, if I want to break things up into sections because sooner or later I might have hundreds of lines. I might have hundreds of different elements, shapes. So I might have 500 rectangles, 300 circles, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. One of the things that you can probably do is be able to create little sections. So if I was to do this this might be a section so I might have a whole bunch of different things that are sitting inside of this area right so I might have a whole bunch of things in here and if my I might because I have hundreds of lines in here it might be difficult for me to go back and edit make an edit to that section so what I can do is I can just add in a little note that describes that section some whatever I can make I can make it whatever section blah and now as soon as as soon as this um, list box updates a way to force it is I can just hit hide element and show element now I can see this as being a section so I can come and continue adding more and more things and then I can let's say I want to create a new section Right, and I can add another note it says shin blah two, whatever I want. I can force it to update by hiding it, and there we go. So now if I want to go to this one, now I know that everything in here is part of this section here. So it's a little bit easier for me to navigate things. I'm sure that makes sense, but anyways, that's it. Uh, that's that's the totality of this update. It's just puts an N there to uh, signify that there's a note attached with that particular element. Um, that is it. Uh, there'll be a link in the description to 
a video in a playlist. Uh, that video is sort of like my hub. So anytime I do an update to the bitmap maker, I always post the newest update to that. So if you're watching this video a year from now, there might have been five other updates to this script. So if I include it, if I only included in this video a link to this update, you might be missing out on updates that I might have made since then. So by linking this to another video that contains all the updates, you'll be able to find the newest updates. Anyways, that is it. Hopefully you enjoyed. Peace. I am out.